Good morning, welcome to Fairy and Spoil. This is how to get your dog to use a call cool mat. So in the last video, I showed you call cool mats, these blue things that I've got all over the place. Absolutely brilliant product. If you don't know what they are, go and watch the last video. But a lot of dogs, um, I get contacted by a lot of people saying that um, their dogs won't go on the call cool pad, on the call cool mat. And it's understandable because it's a very cold surface. So I do understand why they're reluctant to do that. And Hunt's here that's destroying his toy. He um, is one of those dogs. So I've only had him for um, nine months and we haven't actually done a summer yet. So um, he, I'm imagining he would never have seen a call cool pad before. So he won't go on them. He's just not going on them. He lies next to them, but he won't go on them. I've been putting them in areas where he naturally lies. And he's just lying next to them. He's not using them at all. So my two other dogs, little Albert over there, and we've got a Harry here. I've had these dogs for years and years and years. Um, and they will happily use call cool pads, no problems at all. So I've got a few ideas of how I'm going to get humps here to go and lie on a call cool pad. So over the week, I will be trying different things and I will keep you updated on how it goes. So this is the situation I have at the moment. Often Humps will be up on the sofa and then he will get too hot and he will go and lie out in the hallway because under that lino there are tiles and it's quite cool and he will go and lie out there. So I thought if I put the cool mat out there, he will learn that the cool mat does the same job. Only that's not working because what he's doing is he's going out there and he's lying next to it. So I've got a plan. I'm going to do some stuff to get him OK with getting on the mat. And then I'll put the mat back out there and see if he will then use it. Right, so what I've done is, so this is just my normal training session that I do with my dogs every day. And I've just called Humps into me and asked him to sit. And I've put a blanket on top of the call pad. So he is on top of the call pad now with this blanket he's very familiar with this blanket it's the blanket that he lies on on the sofa and so he's quite happy to get on the call cool pad with the blanket on top of it right so now i've asked him to sit on the call cool pad without the blanket and he's doing it absolutely fine so we can see that he's got no problem with being on the call cool pad he doesn't have a problem with the sensation of it he now knows nice and clearly that he's allowed to be on the call cool pad so that's that's all good and now I've just done exactly the same thing, but I've brought Humps back out into the hallway onto the mat that he was lying next to rather than getting onto it. So he's now got used to the sensation of being on it. And it's the same. He knows that he's allowed to be on this mat. So, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. So that's really good. So now he knows that he's allowed to be on it. So now I've just got to try and hope that he understands that feels nice and cool. And that's where I'm going to lie if I get hot. Right, so we've got to the point where he will lie on the mat, but I don't think he's gone to lie on it because he was hot. I think he's gone to lie on it because it's a mat, because he's moved his toys all on there and he's lying there and having a play. Which, you know, it's not ideal. Because, you know, it's fine that he's there lying on it. Um, I do have to watch that he doesn't start chewing it. I'll keep a close eye on that. But he hasn't gone there for the right reason yet. He hasn't gone there because he was hot. Now, the problem with this whole thing is, is that it's not a hot day. I don't let my dogs get hot. So it may just be that he's not hot and therefore there's no reason yet to go and lie on the call cool pad. But I'm not convinced at this stage that he understands it's somewhere you can go to cool down. But he's lying on it through his choice. So it's progress. I can't give you the best angle of this, oh, of this because I was, I was going to say if I stand up, he'll wake up. He did just wake up, but he's gone back to sleep. So if you can see kind of over the, over the bed there, he's actually, Humps is actually asleep on the call pad. So he's fallen asleep in his toys. He regularly does this in the afternoon. He plays with his toys and then he falls asleep in them, but he's never done it on the call pad before. So I still don't think he's there for the right reason. He's still not there because he wanted to cool down. But he's he, he 
when he's playing, I thought, well, maybe he doesn't really know he's on the call pad. Maybe it's just kind of where he landed and he's distracted by the toys. But he's asleep now, so he he's not distracted. So he knows where he is. He's happy to lie on it and feels comfortable on it. So that's where we are now. Right, we've got a little Albert here. He's having a lovely lie down on the call pads. I can't be sure if it's because he was hot or if it's just where he's lying. I can't be sure of that. He has been out in the garden and the sun is shining, but it, it isn't hot out there and it's, it's half past eight in the morning. So it isn't hot out there. So I'm not sure if he just got on there because he was hot or if it was because he just went there to have a lie down. But I've just stood on it and that feels cold. I'm quite warm because I've just been hoovering. But, you know, it feels cold to stand on. So it's just lovely for dogs. So we've got Harry here using the cool pad. He is by far the one that uses it the most. If he's been cuddled up on the sofa and he's got too hot, he will be the one who knows to go and lie on the cool pad to cool himself down. He's, he's by far the most sensible user of them. Then when he gets too um, cool, it doesn't take long, he gets off and just gets on with his life. And then if I stand on it, it's all warm where it took the heat out of him. It's, it's a very, very clever system. Right, can you see him there around the corner on the call pad? So what happened was we were having a cuddle on the sofa and as often happens with my boys, they get a bit warm, all cuddled up on the sofa. He got, he, he got too warm. I could feel him, he was warm. And he went and lay down on the, pad, on the, on the call mat. Absolutely delighted with, because I have absolutely no doubt that he got off the sofa because he was warm and that he's gonna lay down gonna lay down on the mat. So I'm absolutely delighted with that because that means that he's got the concept that if you're hot, go and lie on that. That isn't a place he ever lies, it isn't a place he would normally lie if the mat wasn't there. And um he was he would he I could tell he got hot on the sofa, so I'm absolutely delighted he's got the concepts, that's brilliant. I'm actually going to end the video um, on this note because that is brilliant. That is exactly what I wanted to achieve. So do what I've done. Try it out yourself. Now, Hunt's got that concept really quite quickly. I only did it as much as I showed you me doing it on the video. If your dog doesn't get it that quickly, then just repeat it a few more times. And something else that you could do is get a few treats, put them onto the mat, walk away... The dog will then have to walk on the mat to get the treat. And so therefore he'll um, be, he'll get used to just walking onto the mat. But I'm absolutely convinced your dog will get the concept too. Because I've got three dogs, all different learning abilities. Um, and they've all got it. They all understand the call mat. So I'm, I'm absolutely delighted with that. He's got the concept of that. Absolutely brilliant. So what I've taken from this is, if you can get the dog to lie on the mat just to lie on the mat for no other reason. So use treats and stuff just to get him on to lie on the mat. He will know that that felt cold and he will remember that. Now you might get some dogs, like my little Albert down here. You know, he's got learning difficulties. We can't really see him. We'll have a look at Harry over here. But um, Albert on the floor down there, he's got learning difficulties. And so he wouldn't get the concept. There's so much in life he doesn't get the concept of. But... He, where that mat is on the floor, that is where he always lies. And so he lies there all the time anyway. So he will just naturally always be on a call mat. Then when he gets too warm, he moves and he moves down to here. So I'm, I'm not worried about Albert. He's fine. He's always naturally on a call mat. And then when he gets too, too cold, he moves over to here. So I'm fine with that concept. We know how he's got the concept. I've seen that for years. I know he's got the concept. And now I'm absolutely delighted that humps and if any of you are saying yeah but how do you know he was really hot i know he was he was lying next to me cuddled up on his blanket and he started panting and he got down off the sofa because he was panting anyone who's got dogs will know that happens all the time they get on the sofa they get too hot and they go and lie on the floor so i know he was hot and he went straight over and lay on that mat so that's absolutely brilliant i'm absolutely delighted with that so thank you very much for watching as always have a great day and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye